Hey everybody, what's going on? Justin here. So winter's definitely set in here in Germany and uh, it's kept me from being out for a couple of weeks, but here I am and decided to come up to a couple of ponds here, um, not too far from the house. And I'm specifically here because about a week and a half ago, I photographed a white egret or a, a small egret, I'm sorry. Um, and here they call them Sidon Rios. And uh, I, I decided to come up and try to look for them again today. Unfortunately, it's been 28, 26 degrees for the last five nights and these ponds have frozen up. And so you can see, they're really pretty frozen. And so I'm not sure how many of the waterfowl have taken off and gone to find some moving water. There's definitely not as many ducks here as they were a week and a half ago, so they've moved on. Um, but we'll see what we can find today. Either way, the sun's out finally for the first time in like 10 days, so it's just good to be outside and getting some sun on my skin. So let's go and uh, check it out and see what we can find. Alright, so good news and of course a little bit of bad news. Um, as I was walking up the trail here, the, uh, the small egret took off from a spot that he was in on the ground over in a little cove and landed in a tree, a beautiful tree actually, right here. And so I was setting up to get a shot and some footage and of course a blue heron came in and um, I wouldn't say attacked him, but definitely forced him off the tree. I don't know if it was a territorial dispute or what, but the egret took off and now I don't know where he's at. <laughs> so um, the great news is he's here. He is here, but now I don't know where to find him after he took off. So we're going to have to go keep walking and look for him. Um, wouldn't you know that's what would happen? Um, it always seems to be that way though, doesn't it? So anyway, let's go see if we can track him down. <laughs> So as I'm walking along here, I figured I would tell you really quick what I'm kind of looking for. When I was out here before, there's uh so this is a series of like six or seven little ponds that are all linked together. They're all man-made. Um, but the very top pond has a really nice tree that came down into it. And so the branches are kind of sticking up out of the water. And the I noticed the herons and the egrets, they like to land on there. And I think I've even seen a kingfisher there once. And so it makes for a beautiful picture, um, especially with the backdrop. It's a really dark uh, foresty area behind it. And then of course you've got this bright, bright um, egret. And so the, the camera wants to expose for those dark areas and it brings up the exposure. But if you compensate for that, knock it down by about a stop and a third is kind of the sweet spot that I found then it makes this very dramatic photo where the the egret kind of stands out and the background just fades away into darkness. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, I was talking earlier about in my mind what, what I want this picture to be and what I want this video footage to be. So I wanted to kind of show you that. Um, check out this light. It's hitting the snag out there. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can see how the forest behind it kind of falls away because of the contrast of the light to the dark. If he were to land there now, it would be just an absolutely superb picture. So cross my fingers that the light holds and that he comes in and we can get some shots of him. But in the meantime, let me show you this. Isn't that nice? It would be a really beautiful shot if he were to show up now. So now, uh, now we play the waiting game.
Well, everybody, it's been about two hours and the egret hasn't come in yet. I'm about to lose the light and uh, I'm gonna have to get ready to start thinking about packing it up for the day. I do plan to come back out here tomorrow and hopefully get some more footage. So I'm hoping that this is not where this video ends. Um, but I think it's important that you see the shot that I have in mind and what I was doing with it um, 10 days ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and through the magic of technology, I'm gonna rewind and show you some of the footage from 10 days ago and a couple of the images so you can get an idea of how I was underexposing to make sure I protected the highlights on the egret and also gave that dramatic difference between the background and the subject and also a little bit of the footage that I took, the video footage, um, because it's just a beautiful bird and I really wanna share that with you. It's unfortunate that I wasn't able to get it in this gorgeous light out here today, but you know, there's always other days, so. But if I'm not able to add to this video, then I hope you take care and a Merry Christmas. I'll see you soon and goodbye for now.